so students just i will uh, explain all symmetry elements present in both eclipsed and staggered in hand modules if you understand this then you can do the problems of kerosene and other related problems with both the standard and eclipsed transformations so let us first try at least evening the projection like this can be made and you can you know that hydrogen atoms are here and the molecule will look like it this that the first carbon making a triangle of hydrogen atoms and second carbon making a triangle of hydrogen atoms both are stacked over each other at least so obviously a c3 axis will pass through here the center <coughs> through the carbon carbon bond and about this if we rotate the molecule the upper triangle will also rotate and lower will also rotate and we get down similar orientation so there are just one c3 axis one c3 axis uh, perpendicular to the c3 axis as in case of bf3 you know there was one triangle only three c2 axis are present perpendicular to the c3 axis in the same way here also there are three c2 axis but <coughs> the axis is present there is the first carbon there is the second carbon in the middle of the carbon carbon bond the c2 axis will exist and you rotate about this axis then the hydrogen from this carbon will exchange with the hydrogen of the other carbon the position and you will get similar orientation so there are three c2 axes and they can be identified very easily lying along the bonds or the what you call corners of the triangles so there are three c2 axes since it is a eclipse situation so one sigma h is present in the middle of the two triangles so one sigma h is present sigma horizontal plane mirror plane if one sigma h is present here it means that this c3 is also acting as s3 axis because as in case of as you know you have to rotate the only the upper part of the body keep intact the lower part so the upper triangle will rotate and automatically eclipse the lower one means if you apply a mirror plane you will get the image of each of the atoms therefore this c3 is also acting as s3 uh, there are three sigma vertical planes also present in this uh, body three sigma verticals because any triangle if you see then this is the vertical plane this is the vertical plane and this is the vertical plane so the plane that will act for the upper triangle that will also act for the lower triangle so we have three sigma vertical planes so these are the symmetry elements of the eclipsed ethane molecule if we go for the standard isomer the 
then the projection will look like this. So, obviously, uh, one C3 axis will exist because if we rotate the molecule by 120 now, then these three hydrogens will exchange with, with them, with each other, and these three hydrogens will also exchange simultaneously. So, you will get similar orientation. So, one C3 is present here. But now the sigma H plane which was present in the eclipsed form is not present here. Therefore, no sigma horny enter. Therefore, this C3 is not S3. You can see if you rotate the upper part by 120 and put a mirror. You won't get the image of this hydrogen below. So it is not acting as S3. But one thing we can do if we rotate the upper triangle by 60 degree, not by 120 degree, if you rotate the upper triangle by 60 degree, because this, this total angle is you know 120. So half is 60, if you rotate it by 60, then this hydrogen will come over upper triangle because and keep the lower one as such. This hydrogen will come over here, this hydrogen will come over here, this hydrogen will come over here, and then apply the mirror plane. Then obviously you can see the image of the atom below. Hence, this C3 axis is not S3, but it is what? S6. This is acting as an S6 axis. Uh, there are three C2 axis present here. The three C2 axis which are perpendicular to the C3 axis as usual are perpendicular to the principal axis. They are present uh, like this. If I, I draw a line here, I can use a different color in fact. Say something like this. This will be a C2 axis. If you rotate the body about this axis, then this uh, This hydrogen will interchange with this one, and this hydrogen will interchange with this one. This hydrogen, which is from the upper plane, will interchange with the one from the lower chain, a uh, lower, lower plane, and this way this will act as a C2 axis. Similarly, you can draw three C2 axis into it. Right? Okay. Now, what about?
about the vertical planes. So the vertical planes there are three vertical planes which are called sigma d. D means dihedral. There are three sigma vertical planes present between the C2 axis somewhere here. Present in the middle of two C2 axis. Since they are present in the middle of two C2 axis, therefore they are called dihedral planes. So one can make its position somewhere in the middle of the difficult to make here. What situation is that? So I hope you can understand the total symmetry elements present in standard Indian model. So let me repeat. Here you have one C3 axis, there is no sigma horizontal. The C3 is acting as a six axis. There are three C2 axis present. Uh, and uh, between two C2 axis, there is one plane, which is called diagonal plane, and uh, there are three sigma diagonal planes present in the, in the middle of the two, any two C2 axis. That's what the situation is here. In the same way, if you try for uh, 